So once you've made your edits on the chain on the page and your changes on the page, um, and you want to approve the page so that <clears throat> the public can view the content, um, go to publish. Now I'm showing you two different versions um, for spe specific web users. Um, you may only see a publish button, and this is the um, shortened publishing process or publishing workflow, which some web users will be experiencing. Publish, continue, and that's it. The page is published. So some web users will be experiencing that process. Other web users, um, you're on the page, you've made your changes, go to publish, submit, this is the long publishing process. Longer. <laughs> um, select start on this page. Once it takes you back to the page, you're going to go to publish and then approve the page. Um, there are two versions of the publishing process. The shortened process is something that we would like to deploy division wide, but we are not yet at a point to do that. Um, we hope that we'll be able to, though, at some point. So now it says waiting for approval. I'm going to go to publish, and I'm going to select approve. If you are your own approver, you'll still have to do this process. If you have someone who approves for you, you'll have to wait for their approval. They'll get an email saying that so-and-so has submitted a page or a document or image for approval. Um, so it depends on where you are in the food chain of the publishing workflow. And also it depends on which site you're working on and what the publishing workflow is for that site.